Hey guys, I'm Corey Ricks, and today I'm going to be unboxing this Radio Master TX12. So, I'm getting new into flying FPV drones, and I'm currently starting to build one. And so, I wanted to buy my controller first, so that way I had a way to practice in a simulator, get a flight ram before I go fly my actual quad because I don't want to destroy it right away. So it's good to practice in a simulator. So I ordered this, it's a good beginner remote. I like something smaller because I'm used to like smaller controllers and things like that. And my hands aren't very big. So this seems like a really good controller. Um, so it's the Radio Master TX12. Let's open it up, see what's inside. If you're curious to uh, anything it says on the back here, like the dimensions of it, the weight, frequency. Um, I know it, it, this firmware is OpenTX. Um, so you can, I'll post a picture right here on the screen so you can see what it looks like. We'll go ahead and open this up and see what we got. So in the box we have the remote, a manual, and a bag We'll get these. This little bag, we have the antenna. Um, it's like a cap for something. Not exactly sure what that's for. And a USB type C plug for the controller. I know this controller doesn't come with batteries. So I'm going to link some batteries that you can get for this controller in the description. I'll talk a little bit about them. So here's the remote. Get rid of this. Feels pretty nice. It's it's a nice small remote. I think I'm really gonna like it. Um, it's got uh, these four switches, some switches on the sides. Uh, I think it's like a, I think it's 16 channels is what it is. Um, on the back here, it has the. Um, you can open it up and place a module in here. I'm gonna be putting an ELRS module or an exploration LRS module in the back of mine because that's the kind of receiver I'm putting in my drone. And overall, it, it feels pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead. You don't wanna turn it on without putting the antenna on. So I'll put the antenna on and I'm gonna put the batteries in really quick. So I'm just gonna open up the back here like this. And you have this little tray with the battery tray right in here. So, I ordered my batteries separately. Um, like I said, there'll be a link to the description of these ones. They're, we have 18650 batteries. Um, and the book, it, it talks a little bit about like what batteries you want in there. Um, here it says, yeah, it says the TX12 has built in USB C charging for function for a 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt lithium battery. The charging circuit is only suitable for two. 3.7 volt Leon IM18650 or two 3.7 volt Lipoli batteries. 2S 7.4 liquid battery pack. The normal battery voltage is 3.7 and maximum charging voltage is 4.2 volts. And that has some other things here. I'll put a picture of this so that way um, you can see all the things it has. Anyways, I'm gonna take these batteries out of here, came with this nice little pack. I believe the normal charge of these is um, 7.6 volts, but anyways, they should work for this. So um, just make sure you put them in correctly. You don't want them to explode or, or burn on you. So and plus minus here, they fit in nice and snug. And then once that's in there, you just take it and then just gonna flip it around. You slide this in just like that. I'm gonna fold the wires to the side a little bit and then you just close the back just like that. Shakes a little bit, but then um, you should be able to hold down the power button. Gets a little vibrate. And throw the idle, there we go. And then uh, press any key to skip. And then we're in. So it looks like my 
Battery is at 7.2 volts right now. It gives a little description. You have this roll wheel and you can uh, see exactly what your throttles do. But anyways, this is a simple overview of this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna power it down. Then I'm gonna show you how to plug it into the computer and run it with the simulator. So you're just gonna take your USB type C cord. You're just gonna plug it right into the back of here. Now this part is very simple. You're gonna take your controller, make sure your batteries are in there so you can power it on. You're just gonna hold down the power button. It'll power on just like this. And um, switch warning. And we'll just skip this. Now all we gotta do is take the USB type C cord we plugged in and plug it right into the back of here and you'll hear uh, the computer make a sound. And then on here, you can see that there's two options. There's USB joystick and there's USB storage. So you're just gonna highlight this one. This is what you're gonna use. And you just click in this thing. And if you could hear that over the camera, it just connected and you're ready to use it for your simulator. So I'm gonna jump onto the computer and I'm all done with this. You don't need to do anything else with this. All right guys, so now you have your controller your radio plugged in once you hit that USB joystick on your um, transmitter your computer and your radio should be good to go for your flight simulator um, you should have heard your computer make a sound like you plugged a USB drive in when you hit that button on your radio and you should be ready to go so you start up your your simulator what I'm using is FPV skydive it's a free simulator on Steam I've been practicing with my PS4 controller to learn how to fly. So now that I have a controller um, or a, a transmitter, I'm going to use my joystick calibration. I'm going to calibrate my radio transmitter. So I'm just going to do exactly what it says. Center my sticks, throttle, yaw, pitch, roll, move them around how it wants me to. and this will calibrate it. So you can do how to reset, how to arm, your flight modes, and everything should be good to go. So as you can see here, I can move everything around and it's all ready to go. We got pitch, roll, throttle, yaw, pitch, roll. We have restart, we have arm, and looks like we are in Horizon angle acro is the one I want. And in this simulator, we have quite a few different maps. We got the stadium, construction area, Red Valley, abandoned factory, and then you have this one that you have to purchase. But this is just fine for starting out. And you got freestyle. You have different race maps. So if you're barely starting, these can be very difficult. And you're going to want to do freestyle to learn. I'm going to arm my drone. Looks like I'm an acro, should be good to go. We'll take off and fly around a little bit. And now you can practice in your simulator and you don't have to go out there and ruin your drone. Or if you're just wanting to learn how to fly and you're not planning on getting a drone for a while, this is something great and fun to do, just to learn how to fly. I've heard that it translates pretty well over to real life. Um, I'm going to put quite a few hours into this before I fly my drone that I'm building. I'm going to be making a separate video of building a, a 5 inch quad and I'm going to answer a lot of questions that beginners might have because there's a lot of things that you need to know when you're first building a drone, especially if you don't have like a specific kit or anything. Um, oh, I crashed there. It can be very difficult to understand what you know what kind of flight controller you're getting your ESC I didn't even know what ESC stood for your electric speed controller so there's just a lot of different things I'm going to be going over and helping you understand you know what kind of motors you want with your depending on how many cells your battery has and just hopefully helping you understand a lot of things in the community a little bit better so you can fly your build your drone and have a good time so if you have any questions let me know down in the comments. I'll try to answer them to the best I can. Uh, I'm going to show a couple fun clips of each map on the simulator.
just so you can see if you want to download it or not. I mean, it is free, but I'm sure there's probably a better simulator out there. So don't judge you if you don't want to buy it. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to buy it because it's free. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stick around to see some of these clips, but uh, don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Took a second, but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms How about you coming close so we can do my place Maybe we can try meeting up by seven You'll be saying oh, I saw it's guaranteed I'll be forever thinking about you and me Yeah.